Hey, this is Mass X with a new Bleach Immortal Soul video, and we've got our first look at the two collab characters, what they will officially have. We've got Noel and we've got Nini. So let's go ahead and take a look at them real quickly. As you may know, the event is starting on May 5th. Let's go ahead and check out these characters. So let's look at Noel first. She's a attacker, DPS, high front row damage, always like that. Her talent increases the damage rate and damage reduction rate of all female characters. Absolutely love that for our all female team. So I, I can't say too much about that because that's pretty freaking cool. She's going to be an Azure Dragon. And her heroic war soul increases crit chance by a percentage, meaning how much you level it up for all defense specialty characters. Love that. Okay, I do like that a lot. All right, let's look at the mastery skill. Not much to read here. Deals damage to a single enemy, increases crit chance by 30% for two rounds. Magic 75 Gatlin Crown Rage Skill. Deals damage to the enemy front row, ignoring 10% of the target's damage reduction rate. That's interesting. I don't think they've done that before. If this attack is a critical hit, it deals additional damage to the target with the lowest HP by percentage, equal to 10% of Noel's attack. After Weapon Awakens, damage is greatly increased. The crit chance of the skill is increased. The amount of damage reduction rate and defense ignored is increased. The additional damage following critical hits is increased. And this attack gains increased crit chance and restore and restores rage. If that works, that effectively should be cool. Let's see if it actually works though. Noel has increased crit chance. Duh, could have picked that one out. Every time Noel attacks, she gains 20% increased attack for one round. When Noel attacks enemies with a defense reduction effect, the attacks deal additional damage equal to 60% of her attack. Okay. That's interesting. I'll, I'll be very curious to see how that actually works. Let's see what the bonds are for this character. Nothing horrible. Okay, that's not bad. Let's see what she looks like since uh, this is an event character. And uh, let's see if it looks any cool or not. So I've got mixed feelings about this collab. Um, you know, where's the content? Now, if they give us an event and it has some, some really cool new content, great. If it has no new content and it's a lot of things rehashed that they've done before, just in the uh, city like London from the anime, well, then we got a problem. You know what? For a collab, I would have expected more from her rage skill, quite honestly. It's not bad, but it's... It's just okay. All right, we've got Nini here. Let's see. She is a skill-based character support. You guys know how much I love support characters. Healing reduction, dispel control. Ooh, I'm already interested more so than the other character. Increase the attack, defense, and HP of all male characters by 2%. Her talent, she's a white tiger. Very cool. And her heroic war soul increases block chance for all defense specialty characters. Okay. Uh, you know, nothing crazy. Let's take a look at what we're going to be using with her mastery skill. Magic number 28, Rainy Wheel. Deals damage to a single enemy and reduces the target's healing received rate by 40% for one round. Okay. That's good. I wish it wasn't a single enemy. I wish it was the whole front row or whole back row, but all right. Let's look at the rage skill. Magic number 68, Super Nail Jail, or Super Nail Jail, excuse me. I'm tired. Deals damage to all enemies, AOE, cool, and decreases the crit resistance chance of all targets by 15% for one round. Increases the crit chance of the ally back row, I always love that, by 10%, wish it was more though, for two rounds. 
After weapon awakens, damage is greatly increased. The debuff to enemy targets is increased. The buff to the ally back row is increased. Okay, cool. And now dispels all immobilization effects and the ally with the highest attack gains an additional bonus to crit damage. Okay, that's freaking freaking cool. Okay, I actually really like that rage skill. That could be very handy, very much like that. Let's look at her passive skill, Piper's Flute Squad. Ninny has increased damage reduction rate. While Ninny is deployed, whenever an ally lands a critical hit, this ally recovers 10% max HP and 80 rage, and any immobilization effects on a random ally are dispelled. This effect disappears when Ninny dies and does not activate if she is deployed in guard stance. That is cool, but they've basically made it so you've got to use these two together in tandem because they clearly are built to play off each other, which isn't a bad thing, and I get it because it's a collab. So we'll see how they work. Hopefully they work as they say they do and aren't glitchy or just don't do what you would expect in the end. All right, uh, looks like nothing special here with the bonds. Pretty easy if you've been playing the game for a while. All right, let's see what Ninny's rage skill looks like. Hopefully it's better than the other one. Yeah, I've got some serious mixed feelings about this collab. Seriously, guys. All right. Eh, yeah. Like the other one. Just coming from the top. Not bad. But not spectacular. I thought they might put some cityscape in. From the anime or something. You know, make it look a little bit nicer. But we just get a solo color in the background. Alright, one more time. Voila. But yeah, I've got some very mixed feelings, alright? I, 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 uh, Oasis, Oasis owes us level 100. They owe us new content. We never got the, the squad boss update that they talked about. We still have never got the Gein event. Um, we're still down quite a few things, quite honestly. So the fact of that we just had anniversary and they're already pushing out this collab to us is disheartening to me. I'm really starting to have my second thoughts about this game and where I'm going to go for 2022 with it. Uh, I will, of course, continue on, but it will be definitely with much more hesitance. And we'll just guess. We'll see what happens. Not much more for the server maintenance. Uh, we didn't get our season pass yet. It's still delayed yet again. Uh, all we got is the collab event information and get to see the new characters. Well... Not much more to say, except for characters actually look pretty good. If they work, they should be fun, and they'll work very well in tandem. So with that, please like and subscribe. It helps so much, and I appreciate it. I hope everybody's having a great day, great week. Have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.